Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn how to make a temperature monitoring circuit with the help of PIC 18F452 microcontroller. The program we are using for simulation is the Proteus Head Professional. Okay, first of all, we need to go to take our microcontroller. So for it, click on component mode. Then click on this P, then right here, pick 18F452. Okay, now place microcontroller here. First and the most important thing is to give 5 volt DC to its enable pin. That is mentioned as I'm clear or VPP. This is enable pin, so we must have to give some power to enable our microcontroller. After it, we need to take the 16 cross 2 LCD. So we need to write LM016. So this is our 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD. This is the most common LCD used in electronics. Now we can see that there are four data pins inside this. Totally there are eight, but we are using four data pins. So we need to connect the D7 pin of the LCD with the C7 pin of the microcontroller, C6 with the D6, D5 with the C5 and C4 with the D4 pin. The rest of the pins must be connected or short must be short with each other and they also need to be connected with RW. And last we have to connect all these with the ground like this okay now there is enable pin so we need to connect our enable pin with the c3 and rs pin with the c2 okay now we have left three pins that is vss vdd and vwe for VWE, we need to take one potentiometer pot variable and we can use any but we are using here 2K. So we need to connect our potentiometer with VWE. Then we need to take ground and power and need to be connected on both sides of this potentiometer also called as variable okay now we need to connect vdd and vss with some corresponding voltages so for vss you must know that it also needs to be connected with ground so we can we can use another ground for it like this Okay, so this is your ground pin. Okay, now for VDD, we can connect it with the power source, any any of the power source. So it will work for us. Okay, now our circuit is now approximately completed, but we have to add one more thing and that is called as the temperature sensor. So here we are using LM35 temperature sensor it is in the shape of usually it is in the shape of simple transistor like c uh, 2n uh, 3 2n double 2 double 2 like that okay now we there are three pins one is the vcc one is the ground pin and one is the out pin so we need to connect out pin with the a2 VCC pin with ground pin with the three, third number pin and power pin with the pin number one. Okay, now this is our program. Uh, sorry, this is our circuit schematic. Okay, now we need to go towards our C program and we are using micro C for it. delete all this out 
Okay, now do one more thing that starts from take start from this file and then click on new new project. Now we need to click on standard project and then next and then Yaki one must be like Yaki two. We have to select our microcontroller that is 18F 452 then next and then finish. Okay, now now this is your main coding file. So I will paste the code here. I will explain all the code here. Okay, so first you can see that there are some error lines. Okay, now why why they are so like uh, so so first you need to go to micro e libraries ADC and then you need to take the conversion. Okay, where is the conversions? Yes, these are the conversions and UART and also the LCD. Okay, so can we see LCD? Yes, LCD. Okay, now. Okay, two. Okay, it's running fine. Okay, now what is this code now? This code, this section of code is for the LCD. Like uh, we know that S bit means set bit and LCD underscore RS is LCD RS pen at RC3 bit. RC3 bit is the C3 pin of the port C. RC2 bit is the C2 pin of the port B. And we have connected LCD enable pin on RC2 bit. Then LCD D4 is connected on C4 pin and D5 at C5 pin as we know that we have connected D6 with C6 and D7 with C7 pin. Then we have, then we can see here that there is written S bit LCD RS direction at RIS C3 bit. Okay. So here we are like because we know that there are two types of uh, modes inside the LCD one is like uh, when uh, one is to uh, putting the data inside the LCD and one is getting the data out of LCD but as we are sending the data to the LCD so that is why we have declared these trace C3 bit and trace C2 bit and we have set their directions because we, we want to use them as input input set because if, if there is clear bit LCD D6 then it is going to like a, uh, give data rather than take so but here it is uh, taking our data from the microcontroller then we have declared one character TP variable and what 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 is with this variable is for because LCD cannot display the integer type things or data so we have to first convert the integers into the character type and then we have to display and for character display we need a variable then there is character temp and this is equal to this thing then there is one integer variable that is temp store now we will come towards our void main function here it is written as tris a is equal to 0x ff what is meant by this we have we have sent 1 1 on the port a whole port a so so it, it just becomes the input if there is 0 0 then the whole port a will be the output but here now it, it acts as the input then we have this function for initialization of the lcd then we will return in row 1 and column 1 of the lcd we, we need to write temp measure and it will you can just like uh, you you can even write temperature measured because it is it is in in these braces so it will not affect anything so you can write any any string here it's okay there is a delay of half second and then our while one loop is there while one will execute again and again like uh, it will first these statements will execute first time then second and then third and then so on so what what it will do first adc read is a function that will read the data coming on pin number 
A2, like the analog 2 pin. Uh, sorry, port A, pin number 2. You can also call it as analog 2 because our analog data can only uh, be uh, taken at port A and then multiply with this constant so that we get our temperature. So all the temperature will be then stored inside this variable. Then because we can, uh, although this is this this variable contains the temperature, but still we need to convert it into the string type in order to be displayed on the LCD. So we have written a function that is into str, then temp store, which is of integer type, this thing, and then all of its data will be converted to character type by this function and then will be stored inside this tp character variable then lcd out lcd out function will display data like two second row second column and tp means that character variable which 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 is having now temperature inside it so so it will be displayed then delay of millisecond of 500 then lcd out again uh, we will show on second row and tenth column and we will just write degree centigrade because it is it is in the form of degree centigrade then delay of millisecond 500 so it is our code you have to write this code at your own rather than copying so you have to see and understand and then you need to write it in it in your micro c okay now we will save it and hex from eco dot hex okay our hex is created now we will double click we'll go here we will take our hex that is g per and eco here okay now okay now we will run it okay we don't have any sort of okay we will check that either we have connected the e with e with c3 and rs with c2 okay enable with c3 okay we, we need to change it like uh, r c3 to c2 yeah we have changed okay now we again need to save it replace it okay now we will hopefully it will work fine now okay now it's uh, okay now it has given 27 degrees celsius so i will change the temperature now it is 29 degrees celsius and we can even make them low so hopefully you got the concept now you can make it at your own so thanks for visiting our channel